This video will look at the basics of circulation in Sitka's Evergreen. Circulation in the web client will look very familiar. Some of the options on the circulation menu have moved around and been renamed, but all of the circulation functions you expect to see are there. Keyboard shortcuts are not listed on the menu, but do function the same way as they did in the desktop client in most parts of the web client. Items can be checked in by scanning them into the barcode field. The effective date can be used to backdate check-ins. Check-in modifiers can be applied to modify your check-in, such as suppress holds and transits. The Actions menu can be used to perform actions on checked-in items. Select the items you would like to perform the action on and either go to Actions or right-click on one of the selected rows. Select your desired action from the menu. Show in Catalog and Show Item Details are no longer options in the Actions menu. Instead, clicking on the Title hyperlink will open the item record in the catalog, and clicking on the barcode hyperlink will open the item in Item Status. A left click will open the new screen in the same tab. A middle click or click of the mouse wheel will open the new screen in a new tab. Scanning a patron's barcode into the checkout screen will open their account. Scanning the barcode of a patron who has not opted into your library will bring up the opt-in pop-up. Items are checked out by scanning them into the barcode field. The system will use your circulation policies to determine the item's due date. If you need to make an exception and use a different due date, you can select Specific Due Date under Date Options and enter your new due date. If you select Use Specific Due Date until Logout, the system will use the specified due date for all checkouts for all patrons until you deselect it or log out of Evergreen. In the Patron account, the Checkout, Items Out, Holds, Bills, Messages, Edit, and other tabs display across the top. The Items Out screen has been divided into three tabs, Items Checked Out, other special circulations, and non-catalogued circulations. The number beside the tab name indicates how many items are on the particular tab. Lost and claimed returned items will appear on the other special circulation tab, similar to how they appeared at the bottom of the screen in the desktop staff client. Regular circulation functions, such as renew and mark lost, can be performed on the items checked out tab by selecting the item you wish to perform the action on and going to the Actions menu and selecting your action from the menu. You can also right-click on the line to bring up this Actions menu. On the Holds tab, staff can view a patron's existing and cancelled holds as well as place new holds. Existing holds can be edited and cancelled from the Actions menu. On the Bills tab, Staff can see the existing bills for a patron, pay the patron's bills, view a patron's billing history, and use the Bill Patron button to add new charges. The Edit tab allows staff to update a patron's account. A patron's expiration date can be updated by clicking the Update Expire Date button. Once the needed changes are made to the patron's account, click Save in the top right corner. The Patron Search can be found under the Search menu, Search for Patrons. The most common fields will display automatically. You can use the arrow to display additional fields. Date of Birth is now a search option. Patron Buckets are a new feature that will allow you to batch edit some fields in the Patron Records. Patron Bucket functionality will be covered in a separate video. New patrons can be registered through the Patron Registration screen. Required fields are highlighted in yellow. You can choose to see only the fields required by your library, those suggested by your library, or all fields. 
When the form is filled in, click Save to save your patron. The catalog search can be found under the cataloging menu, Search the Catalog. The catalog search is almost identical to the desktop staff client and functions the same way. The most significant difference is that the terms used for your search are now highlighted. Highlighting can be disabled and enabled within a record using the Disable Enable Highlighting option. The search terms will be highlighted in the title, author, summary, and subjects. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.